So it looks like the cops are moving in. There's a few people who went over a lot closer and the cops did not like that. So I'm just gathering my stuff up here for a minute. I don't think they want to make any arrests, but the one sister who's determined to get arrested is going in. And you can be pretty sure they're going to arrest her. But you can see them over here. They got a snowmobile. They got a few different snowmobiles. They can't really come to the part of the river where we're at. So we're still on treaty land. So they're not supposed to be over here. But they got a lot closer. And the one sister who's determined to get arrested is still walking up. But yeah, you can see the fascists. They're right over there. They got a little bit closer, but they're not coming all the way in. Looks like maybe... I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether we're still on the river or what the story is. But I don't know if you can see that sister. She's over there kind of on the cliff side. She's climbing up. She's definitely going to jail today. Just as a hardened activist who's done a lot of this sort of thing, I have to say, if you ever want to be arrested, don't look alone. It's better to have a battle buddy. It's better to have an ally. You don't want to go on an autonomous action and get arrested by yourself. Because then whatever the cops say that you did, you did it. If they say that you resisted arrest, you resisted arrest. If, you, if they say that you assaulted them, you assaulted them. So... You always want to have a witness. You never want to go get arrested by yourself. You always want a battle buddy. It's just the way that any hardened activist will tell you you're supposed to do it. Yeah, yeah. They're going to go get her for sure. She's going up the hill. They're trying to go get her right now. Hopefully everybody can get together over here and we can say some prayers first. Hey, you guys want to circle up and pray? You want to pray for a minute for our sister who's going to get arrested right now? We're going to circle up and pray here. But I don't know if you can see them, but they're going to get her right now. That's one of the fascists right there in that red one. I'm gonna let you guys go. I can, I can see them up there. They're gonna take the one sister into custody. They're definitely going to get her. bringing in more vehicles right now I want to let you guys go but it's kind of a high anxiety moment we have to try and record this that officer has a rifle looks like he has an assault rifle in his hand Yeah, they got G. They're arresting her right now. I'm trying to keep an eye on the back and see if we're getting flanked. But I think we're on the river right here. I think we're allowed to be here. So. I think our one brother, Jeff, is over there also. It looks like they might arrest him. Quite a few of our people are going over there towards them. 
you're watching this, I don't think I'm gonna go offline, so please share. Get this live stream out there, try and get people watching it, hit that share button. Like I said, they already arrested me once, so I don't really wanna be arrested. I'm not sure whether that's our brother Jeff or our brother Habibi, but I think it's Jeff. Yeah, it's Jeff. He's disabled. He lost his leg. They're gonna bring in the paddy, paddy wagon to go get Jeff, I think. <laughs> yeah, they got G, they're taking her up the hill right now. I don't know if you guys can see it, but she's wearing a red jacket and she's being escorted by a guy in a green jacket. They're taking her up to the top of the hill. We're gonna need jail support. So if any of the legal people are watching right now, we already got one arrest. We're definitely gonna need jail support. So. Again, hit that share button. Try and get this video out there to as many people Share it into groups where you know people are watching. We're still here protecting the water. One of our water protectors is in custody and it looks like they're going to get another one. Yeah, they're gonna go get Jeff. Oh, their snow machine looks like it's sunk into the snow. Aha, their snow machine is stuck. <laughs> oh, that's funny. They're gonna have to use the other snowmobile to get the first snowmobile out. Well, I'm not sure if anyone's over at Turtle Island or at the bridge, but this would be the time to take Turtle Island or the bridge if there's Ochete people watching. Then go to Turtle Island or go to the bridge or go to the other drill pad. Because right now, the fascists are over here, they're not over there, so. I'm gonna take a minute and look at some of the comments you guys are making. Oh, that was a good comment. It looks like I can't zoom, Kelly. I tried to zoom, there's no zoom. I'm on an old Android, otherwise I would be able to zoom in. Thanks for that. I'm trying to zoom in guys, I can't zoom. Yeah, I wish I could, I'm trying to. Got some folks over there with their hands up. They're standing in front of the police. It looks like maybe their aim. It's hard to say. Oh, G's dog is going after her. That's sad. That woman owned a dog. The woman who's being arrested up there. She's at the top of the hill. They're putting her in right now. But her dog's trying to follow her. Get a little bit closer since I can't zoom in. They have a, a snow plow up there because they haven't been plowing over here since there hasn't been anyone over here. The 
cops don't have any guns out. They don't have their bean bags or their cannons or anything, so it doesn't look like they want to be violent right now. Because of where we are, it's really hard for them to access us. They had to come down with their snowmobile. They can't bring down all the big vehicles and all the people. But they got tea. Looks like there's a person over there dialoguing with the cops. It's really sad. G's dog is trying to find her, but her dog's going to be missing her tonight because she's definitely going into a cell. It was really brave of her to go and be arrested. It looks like her and Jeff are definitely going to jail, but as far as the rest of us go, hopefully we don't end up in jail. I think we're still on a piece of the river where we're allowed to be. It's hard to say. Yeah, G's dog is trying to follow her up there. Share this into groups. Looks like they're bringing in more snowmobiles. Quite a few people are heading back. They don't want to be a part of any potential arrests, so. Right now we outnumber the officers down here. There's more of us down here than there are of them. There's only a few officers. There's only five officers and there's about 20 of us, so. the helicopter. Say a few words.
Mothers need fucking too. Mothers need fucking too. I don't know if you can see them up there on the top. They got quite a few of the pigs up there. I feel bad calling them pigs, but that's the best description for people like that. It's hard to even call them people. They're not humane. They lost their humanity. No, that's Johnny Dangerous. Looks like they're letting Jeff go. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you guys. Looks like, looks like they let go the disabled person. They're gonna use their John Deere to try and pull their Polaris out because their Polaris is stuck. one of our guys talking on the microphone over here telling them about how bad their behavior is that's what that's who you hear talking the pigs are not really talking to us they're trying to get each other out of the snow but they let Jeff go so at least they only took G who went up the hill they didn't take anyone besides G it's hard to say which departments are here can't really see their badges super well, but I see one guy who's definitely fish and wildlife. This guy in front of the in front of the John Deere, he's definitely fish and wildlife. Unless I'm very mistaken, then there's Morton County Sheriff, Cab County Sheriff. There's also. Uh, up here on the top, there's private security. Private security aren't in any kind of uniform. There's also National Guard up there. These guys up here uh, in the green jackets, I'm pretty sure those are Morton County Sheriffs. I, 
wish I could zoom in. I didn't zoom in. I walked over here. So they're having a hard time getting their guys down here. They don't have enough snowmobiles and everything to get the guys down. But they also apparently don't know how to drive them very well. definitely interesting here but the cops don't really have any weapons out they don't have their group gloves on I don't think they're interested in arresting anyone right now so fortunately we're all here in a good way we're all being peaceful this is all over but whatever lies the media are telling you they're still over there working and all of these state-sponsored uh, terrorists are here protecting the pipeline from a bunch of unarmed people in prayer so whatever you may have heard the pipeline is still being built and the state is sponsoring the fascists to defend it I think they want to arrest us, but I don't think they have the right equipment or the number, number of people to come down here and do it. They only have a few of these snowmobiles and a few of these all tracks. They have to keep some of them in place at the other locations in case we go to the other locations. So hopefully some of the people who are watching this are at Ochete. You guys can go to the other locations, go to the bridge, go to the drill pad, go to Turtle Island take advantage of the fact that we got these fascists down here and go to the other places. He just gave them a, a signal to go back. So I guess they're going to round up and go back. Looks like the pigs are going home. <laughs> 